what is up, YouTubers? I have some people asking how to do GTA 4 mods for computer. So basically, I'm making this tutorial. I'm using this new where you record the screen and start holding the camera. But they won't record games, unfortunately. I have two of them. I got this one here. Um, I'm just using basically a free trial, so hopefully this works and actually records. But first things first, go to gta4-mods.com. And if you look on YouTube, you see some people, you'll look for a script mod. Which... You can either type in here script, what you need, like, like script, uh, I don't know how to spell it, sorry about that. Um, like look on YouTube, some people have it, but it works for your game, you press F3 to activate it, and then F4, stop, uh, turn it off, and then reactivate it, off and on. I'm going to download a car to show everybody what you gotta do, and make sure you have Win War. Order, opener, that's what you need. Uh, textures, I'll show you how to do that if you want a certain texture on the car. Which, I can do this one right here. I don't know why it's downloading, but I don't know why, but when I did it, save image as one in here, like that. Maybe just exit. Oops. I didn't know it was going to exit out the whole entire screen. But I already got my file saved, so, you know, I'll go from there. Weapons, say like you want a... Yeah, train. Oh, that's pretty sick. I like that. I like the graffiti. I just download that. And... Uh, usually when it takes you this, it tells you where to go, and you go like this. And then hit go to that link and you type in the code of one hit wonder and it offers own but I'll do this. I'm gonna do something a little bit easier where I don't have to do that crap. Uh say I like this is work. Our time has four. There we go. That's what I want to see. Uh, now here's the scripts. Uh, these are for like, you want gas in your key game, you can do that. It's pretty cool. It tells you where to go to get it. Like, um, you gotta read the readme's and all that stuff. It's pretty cool though. I, I liked it. Stuff went right, I guess. It kind of pisses me off. Because when you try to uh, repass, reflex the car, it doesn't work too well. Um, yeah. You got your player mods, like say you want... A jacket. Uh, I'm not going to put it in, I don't know, maybe I will, I don't know. Done deal. If you want a map, uh, like objects or a map map, I'll show you where to go. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Where is this at? Oh, download. Okay. Got everything done here. Exit out of that. What the hell? Get out of here. What the fuck? Download for what? Nah, I ain't falling for it. Gotta be careful what you click on. It could be a virus. You never know. Um, let me open another song up. What you do first when you get the win raw when raw door opened up like that, just like this, extract the file, hit OK, you ready? Click on the next yeah. one, extract. Yeah. I get it in till the sunrise. Get out, doing a hundred on the street, nine to five. My 
Basically, you see like this objects three. Okay, I'm going to rename that to objects two. And you'll come a screenshot. Ooh, wow, that looks, that looks pretty sick. I like that. I don't know how I do this kind of stuff in the game, but I like when people do it. All you gotta do is set copy, go to your root folder, and just basically paste. You're done. That'd be right here. Um, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I I should have kept that, but I will in a second. Now what you do here, you see, I says upper death. What you do is, go, when you get Spark 4, I got 6, er, uh, Spark 4 slash 0.6.6 .6 is what I got. I put this in, you gotta go into the bottom, see the images. Okay, so I was just like, what the hell? Uh, you click on Tire PDF. RPD, or RPF, I'm sorry. And then you look for versus upper, and you would edit, and then where you see this at, sometimes I have two or one, and you import texture, and you find a texture you're looking for. But mine's in here, and you just click on that, click open, save, close and save, and done deal. Just like that. And then when you're in cars, that's a different story. Let me find that. I don't know what that is. This is like the guns. How is WM4? What you do here is you go to weapons image. You look for where it says M4. You replace it. You say M4. Take these files you got right here. Boom. Open. Done. Save. Exit. Done. Deal. Uh, if you have readme, you see what it says, so please, pretty much that's all you gotta do, is just put it in and save and that's it. Uh, that's what it looks like. Just like that right there. Looks pretty tight. Looks pretty nice. Put it down my style. I like mine better. And I'll do that. Now the Super, this is already modified and everything. You got the English, but I don't need that yet. You got your stallion and stallion. This is the WFT. What you do is you can put that right here on your desktop. And then you go right here. Click on it. Uh, machines. Import. Put your files. Click open. And it all might have to out. And then you look for the car you replaced. And you just say these two right here are in blue. Now this, I don't think I modified yet. No, I did not. Uh, Maverick, I... I don't know if it shows the Maverick, but that's what the Maverick looks like. It looks weird, but... And then you just click save, exit. Some cars say rebuild, but don't do it. Just save it, and then that's it. That's what I do, and it works just fine. Um... When you do sound effects and stuff, I, there's some people who shows you how to do it, but go to your uh, sound effects, and you got your car sounds right here. There's all your car sounds. You clicked on this folder, and then you got all your car sounds right here. Just hit import, put the files in, save, done. Uh, resident, I'm not really sure what that is about. I think that's like your real sounds, and I really don't know much about it, but I just left it like it was. I did change the gun sounds. That was a pain. Okay, and this is all done. And actually, out of this. Oops, I guess I have to wait. No biggie. Oh, fudge. Uh, I will show you guys how to do. Copy this. Paste. Because I'm going to put it on my Jeep. If I can remember what I replaced it with. Uh. I do have another one that says Open 4. I gotta just click on GTA 4. I mean, yeah. And basically, it will tell me and show me what cars I got modded. Like models, CD images, machines. I don't really need that. Uh, basically, I can go right here. I believe I did the key. Is it the path? 
Hacker? Ah, uh, this is something. Okay, that's not just something right there. Patriot, that's the Hummer. Uh, I don't know any principal. Oh, that's right. This one here, I think. No? That's not it. I did have other names that were down somewhere. Um. Yeah, somewhere. Uh, this is the principal. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is now. Where. Wait, where do I replace the Jeep with? I think the Reba is the BNW. Yep. Uh. Ripley? I think that's it. No, that's not it. Actually, oops, that's my Wooly monster. It's got Wooly tune in it. It's pretty sick. See, so yeah, I remember I replaced that car. Uh, okay, that's textures. I just cannot remember where I replaced the Jeep with. Remember something? <laughs> I'd say when you got that kind of stuff, you like try to remember what kind of car you got modded and you don't have it right down. I don't know if it's a stallion. No. I had it all the time. Now I can't think of what it's called. I don't even know stay for it because that's the actual car. Mod. This is what I like the most. It, yeah, right here. I put that in, design everything. It's pretty tight. I guess once I find out what kind of car I got in mod, I'll probably go in and do it. I'll probably try from there. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, it's basically simple. I mean, and you just go in here. Fudge. Okay, so you got a map. Data. Or you go PC data, then you look for maps. And you put my, my map right here. And then you just put it in, just paste, bam, done. And then you have a GTA automatically for it. You just go to data and you look for GTA and bam, uh, right here it is. Just paste that in there, done deal. But if you like to put another map in, you gotta know where that map's sitting at, and you gotta have to know where this one's sitting at. And when you get that done, you look for uh, map files right here. You go to the bottom, paste it at the bottom. Go to map files again, and replace the other ones at the bottom. It's done. You save and exit. Now for like, but you gotta make sure you got the readme on click. And if it is stuck and says you're not the administrator, blah blah blah, that actually does me. Just go to security, edit, go to UP user. I mean, use this HP and click allow for all of them. So I like hit deny for everybody. It would just allow. Oops. But anyway, yeah, you get my point. Just do that. Click apply. After you uncheck this again, and then hit apply, hit OK. Same thing with the Carlos, the DTA, the handling, and the weapons and the machines ID. Or machines. Now, what I always do for the cars when it says, like, you got Carlos, you go to Carlos. Oh, that's close. Oops. Your Carlos. And so it has got number one, you replace it like that and get the number one out of the other folder, the mod folder, and place it in this. Done deal. Like you just replace number with the numbers, I mean, what color they are, and done deal. Like say it's thumb 25, so you go, I'll go copy it and then take it in this folder and paste a new, new file in it or a new line, or whatever you want to call it. And down here, you find the car's name. Like say, you just downloaded a nice Ferrari and it's a, you replace it with the uh, Bobcat and or I mean uh, next car you replace it with the shit, Corvette. So you go in that folder you just got for the Corvette, you copy it, 
and then you take it in this folder and paste it here exit save you do the same thing with the handling find the car's name copy just the numbers paste the new numbers into the old file replace the old file with it exit and save same thing with the machines uh, right here you find a model like say it's this copy it all the way completely until you don't see it because you got to do that with the handling and also the car loads. Make sure you get the whole entire complete numbers. Nothing's left behind. Because it can mess up your game pretty bad. And then just paste it in here. Exit, save. Got weapons, uh, info. Like, I just replaced the rocket, so I had to replace the rocket info. Which is. Stamp rifle right here. Launcher. From here to here, you replace the new, which mine's on new. Then you gotta go all the way down here to you see, uh, I think, rocket. Then you replace it from here all the way down to here. Replace it. And then exit and save. Done. That's all there is to it. If you got any questions, just ask me and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Um, that's all there is. Nothing to it. Thanks for watching and hopefully.